I'm Rachel Handler, the Executive Director for Behavioral Health Services. Today, I am honored to host St. Peter's Health Partners virtual page turning ceremony for the St. John's Bible. Today's illumination comes from the Hebrew Testament from the book of Isaiah. It is a passage that offers hope even in the most difficult situations. In behavioral health, my colleagues and I have the privilege of assisting those we serve reconnect with hope. While the reasons and circumstances of stressors or feelings of being overwhelmed that a person may experience are as unique as the individual themselves, there are a number of paths towards restoration and hope. Today, we lift up all in need of hope, especially those we serve through our behavioral health service line. We are celebrating National Hispanic Heritage Month and St. Peter's Health Partner find appropriate to do the readings from the Holy Bible in Spanish and English. So now we will listen to the reading in English, Prophet Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1 to 5. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak to the heart of Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service has ended, that her guilt has been expiated that she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice proclaims, in the wilderness, pre prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in a wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, every mountain and hill made low. The rugged land shall be a plain, the rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Lectura del profeta Isaías, capítulo 40, versículos 1 al 5. Consolad, consolad a mi pueblo, dice vuestro Dios. Hablad según el corazón de Jerusalén. Decidle a voces que su tiempo es ya cumplido, que su pecado es perdonado, que doble ha recibido de la mano del Señor por todos sus pecados. Vos que clama en el desierto, barred camino al Señor, enderezad calzada en la soledad a nuestro Dios. Todo vale, vaya sea alzado, y todo monte y colado, bájese, y lo torcido se enderece, y lo áspero se allene. Y la gloria del Señor se manifestará, y todo carne juntamente la verá, porque la boca del Señor habló. Religion is lived by people who are afraid of hell. Spirituality is lived by people who have been through hell. Franciscan Richard Rohr wrote these words in Breathing Underwater, a book about spirituality and the 12 steps. If you are a patient in our behavioral health unit, you have likely been through hell and back perhaps more than once. Rohr also tells us, God's living and active word comes to us as a voice crying in the wilderness, a two-edged sword, a kiss of peace, water to quench our thirst, and food to satisfy our hunger. The divine word can be both tender and tough, plain and complex, threatening and safe, provocative and reassuring, challenging and comforting. One thing I know for certain, or at least I believe for sure, is that God has spoken and is still speaking, even or perhaps when we least expect to hear God's word. Even when we least expect to hear God's voice. God is still speaking, and even more than that, God is with us at all times, in our times of celebration and joy, as well as in our moments of deepest, darkest despair. God is with you. God is with me. In our reading from Isaiah, we hear, Comfort, O comfort my people. These words held great meaning for the exiled community. The Hebrew word for comfort means to prepare or to turn away from suffering. God does not want you to suffer. God does not will suffering on anyone. 
But sometimes in our broken world, we do endure pain, brokenness, anguish, despair. This darkness, however, is never the final word because God is still speaking, even when we least expect it. The St. Peter's core value that we reference today is integrity. Integrity literally means wholeness of character, just as its root word, integer, is a whole number with no fractions. But addiction, mental illness, these struggles can often make us feel very fractured, broken, less than, hopeless and alone in our struggles. Please, if you hear nothing else today, hear this. You are not alone, and you are worth any effort to rebuild and reclaim your wholeness. A person I loved dearly who struggled with addiction and mental health issues once said to me, I have hope that I will learn to let God shine through me. I do not want to die with the music of my soul unheard. There is goodness in me, love and laughter, charity and faith, compassion and mercy. I have hope, no expectations, only hope. Today, trust in God's promise to be with you always. Listen for that unexpected voice. Allow God to shine through you. Do not let the music of your soul go unheard. Have hope. Always hope. Thank you for joining us for this special page turning of the St. John's Bible. As we conclude, I invite you to take a daily pause and give thanks for those people and events in your life that give you hope. Thank you.